dear, oh dear. Oh, so what's gosh. going on there? Though what's going on there? So it's set in a small town, right. and they've all gone to the same school. They're very much like a group of best friends, and I think Michelle has always been in love with Alfie, and she cannot believe that Carly kind of has turned him down at the altar and doesn't realise how lucky she is. And I think it is a moment of maybe I should... Jump in there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a comedy. Yeah, it's a, it's a comedy drama. It's set in an 80s-themed B&B in Margate. And, yeah, this, my storyline is very much a love triangle and a will-they-won't-they situation. You've got in between his actor Blake Harrison as yeah. well in it. What's yeah. his role? He's amazing. He plays Alfie, like, the, you know, the lead guy, the love interest of the piece. And um, oh, he's brilliant, like and he was so great to work with, and we got on really well, so that really helps. <laughs> very good, very good. And, and, and it, I mean, you've done bits of comedy, haven't you? But this is the first big this... sort of comedic role. I mean, yeah, is it very is different? Very different for me. I mean, I'm actually the, the straight character of, of it. Me and Blake kind of play these the normal characters and mm. all this craziness is happening around us. But... We have like a lot of banter on the show, and my character's very like witty and a bit sarcastic, so that's kind of where her comedy element comes in. Um, but yeah, very different for me, but fun. I mean, I've been really lucky to kind of always flip from different roles yeah. and different jobs, so yeah. yeah. I suppose it was EastEnders, isn't it, when we all really got yeah. to know you. Um, what do you feel about that time? Look at you, bless your cotton socks. How old were you there? Were you about 16? 15, 15 when I started. Oh. So, yeah, 10, 10 years ago. My goodness. I mean, what was that like then, that moment of going Well, I was still at school when I, when I joined the show, so I was kind of in between GCSEs and filming EastEnders. But I think at a young age of 15, you kind of just take it in your stride. Mm. Um, which was fantastic. But it's weird now when people are like, oh, you was in EastEnders. For me, it was so long ago that right. I almost forget. Yeah, absolutely, I bet. But would you go back? Because you could. I'd never say never. No. I loved my time on the show. And obviously, a lot of my friends are going back now, like Matt D'Angelo's going back, Lacey Turner. So there's room for me to go back, but there's so much other stuff going on yeah. that I'm kind of... Well, you can't go back to the bill, can you? Because it's not around it's anymore. <laughs> and people, and I mean, people, I think, still really miss it. We still get lots of comments from people wishing it would come back. Yeah, so people I do. talk to you and say, I oh. do. I left about six months before the show mm. actually went off air. But people are always asking me, like, what happened? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm not upstairs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I suppose not. But yeah, you probably don't miss the uniform, though, I'm thinking. I mean, no, it looked <laughs> ridiculous, really, didn't it? Like, when I look back, now at clips or pictures I'm like how did I look how did I get away with that I look like I was a schoolgirl like dressing up but um oh, you yeah. look very cute I mean but, but the other thing is of course that we saw you with that straight up we see you in lots of very glamorous outfits on Strictly Come yeah. Dancing I mean that I think you did so well on that because you were the youngest ever contestant weren't yeah, you? yeah I was I was seven yeah I still hold the title I was 17 at the time yeah but I think because I was so young I Again, like, I just enjoyed it. I just had such a great time with the show, and obviously me and Vincent got on really well. Yeah. And we still, you know, I still see him all the time. I loved it. It was one of the best experiences I've had. Did you watch him on I'm a Celebrity? I did. I was very proud of him. Were you? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You see, now, I, that's, I feel, his <laughs> payback for all those hours he made you rehearse, yeah, watching yeah. him do that. It was, it's really awful, like, especially when you watch oh, somebody you know going through that. Um, but I saw him just before he went over to Australia and then I saw him when mm. he got back and he was actually quite depressed when he got home. He was he loved it that much. So, um, Did he? Yeah, I was very proud of him. Yeah, and yeah. I suppose it's like good for him to know what's it like to be a kind of contestant, a contestant in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> go through all of that. Yeah. He was very proud of his bottom, wasn't he? Because he won rear of the year. I mean, you know what Vincent's like. I You've do. You've worked with him. I he's, do. He's just, he likes to be centre of attention <laughs> and that's exactly what he was. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, good, good for him. <laughs> well, brilliant. So we could all look forward to Edge of Heaven. Yes. Nine o'clock Friday. Friday, Friday yeah. night. Good luck with it and Thank enjoy you. having a few laughs. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. So still to come between now and 9.25, Dean's in the kitchen and today he's got a dish guaranteed to warm us all up. Tell us more. Dean. I've got a cosy and comforting... Dish. That's my take on a classic hot pot, and I'll be revealing my secret ingredient in a couple of minutes. 
And Mark will be here with all the fashion news, including how footwear could be going back to the future. That's in 50 minutes. First, so let's get the news from Helen.